And, and why is mental illness so high among people who experience homelessness? Well, that's a, it's a very complex um, problem. And, and, it, and in some ways, it's also a, a chicken and the egg thing. I, I have um, one paper uh, that talks about the disconnect. It's also, also a chapter in our recent book. And basically, um, it looks at the, the perfect storm of policy changes that have occurred that include um, the the idea that housing uh, was went down from the federal to the provincial and in Ontario to the municipal level at the same time that income supports uh, were seriously threatened again under that omnibus bill during the Mike Harris years. But one of the problems was that this, this happened at the same time as deinstitutionalization. Uh, in terms of, met, uh, of uh, the, the mental health system, where we people sometimes forgot that, I mean, certainly living in the community is much better than living in hospital, but in, from a planning perspective, people needed to understand that, um, that being in hospital provided many things, including housing, and that was really not properly taken into account. So it ended up being a bit of a legacy uh, as the hospital beds over a, a period of time basically were almost 90% re reduced. Um, but the other piece of that relates to stigma and discrimination that uh, we know that people with mental illness are the most discriminated group in society when it comes to questions such as, who do you wanna hire? Who do you wanna to rent to? Or uh, who do you want your daughter to marry? Uh, so this also plays an, uh, an important part that sometimes makes it difficult for people to access housing uh, in those issues. Uh, we also know that homelessness is related to the kinds of supports you have in place. Uh, and again, you're talking about a population that um, often has fewer social supports, so that in time of crisis, they have fewer people that they can fall back on, where another person with more social supports might have a friend they could stay with for a little while or that they could borrow money from. But a number of these issues, so it's, it's a very complex mm -hmm. issue, but there, there's, uh, and, and again, most of the people with mental illness including addiction, do not end up homeless, but it's just because a lot of those natural supports, a lot of those situations are unique for the, this population, they're more, they're more at risk. And in terms of addiction, uh, certainly one of the things we found, if, if you didn't have an addiction issue before you were homeless, you're certainly at high risk of getting uh, uh, having that problem after you're homeless. So, as I say, that that's where it can become a chicken and the egg. And by the time you add those things together, it it, it affects almost everybody. Right. Thank you for that 